Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather next week to 10 days for today's video. So day 10 is going to take us to around the 13th of January and we'll be able to extend out beyond that for extended GFS and ECM ensemble. So we're going to chat out to a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of video for the next four weeks. Um, we're going to begin with uh, developments in the stratosphere, of course. Um, so running very, very late today. It's been a really, really busy day. I mean, half past three and I have not got today's video uh, recorded. So you won't be seeing this around five o'clock which means it's not gonna be a live stream um today i'm running too late to be able to get this video in and also uh a live stream as well so i'm very very sorry about that everybody um but just one of those things so uh next live stream will be with you uh on wednesday hopefully at uh, six o'clock so um we shall see see you uh then uh but we have got this uh video for you uh today so uh if you're enjoying the content on the channel please can you uh smash like and let us know in the comments what you think make sure you subscribe to our channel as well thank you so much everybody uh for doing that this will be the last sort of week's 10 day uh 10 day on a sunday as well uh by the way because next week um the uh sunday roundup will return gas well, Sunday roundup will be back um next week right so um let's just have a look at temperature 10 hpa event in the stratosphere so we have got this uh warming of stratosphere taking place temperatures have risen to around minus 40 degrees um from a few days ago when it was around minus 60 so this is quite a significant warming of the stratosphere that is uh going on now at 10 HPA over the North Pole and the Arctic. Um, coming a little bit lower down to 30 HPA, that's closer to the troposphere. We can see that at that uh, level, we're somewhere around minus uh, 65 degrees, something like that. So um, it's warming up there as well, but it's warmer really at uh, 10 HPA than, than it is at uh, 30 HPA. So that, that's where the warming uh, has uh, infiltrated into. Of course, this is how the GFS is currently looking. We've got these orangey yellow colours. That's a, uh, that is the sun traffic warning that has moved out of Siberia and into the Arctic and the North Pole. It's almost bringing about a split of the polar vortex at its roots. In fact, it also we do split the polar vortex at its roots as we go through into uh, around the 4th of January. We begin to pull these blue areas apart and uh, we start to infiltrate these uh, green and yellow colours in from uh, the Arctic. Not for long though, because then the blue colours start to uh, reform and begin to come back. Um, a little bit as we run through into the second week of January. Those cold temperatures continue at 10 HPA or, or sort of return, I suppose. So we do get a, uh, do get a split of the polar vortex and its roots in, in the uh, stratosphere for a couple of days. And, uh, and then it looks like um, the polar vortex begins to reform, albeit very weakened, though. Uh, going to more extended range with the GFS run, um, again, it looks like we just weaken further this polar vortex at its roots in the stratosphere. We've got this, uh, we've got that blue area weakening further um, as we go further on. So the development stratosphere wise are interesting. We are going to get a split of the polar vortex tomorrow at uh, their roots in the stratosphere. And uh, we're probably going to get a reversal of zonal wings uh, as well. So this should have impacts on the uh, charts here. But of course, as we've been explaining in the videos uh, recently, we have got um, uh, you know, have had a lot of blocking in the uh, Arctic and polar regions over the past uh, week or so. So there's been a lot of northern blocking going on. Um, and so we just wait and see whether we can add to that northern blocking or whether this uh, stratospheric warming will actually sort of change the position of the blocks. So we, you know, we just don't know what the impacts of this warming stratosphere will be. But it is significant and there probably will be some impacts at some point. Uh, right, CT is currently looking uh, like this. Uh, so, central temperature is at half a degree, uh, half a degree. It's at 0 0.52 degrees uh, Celsius, which is three degrees below. Actually, I've been a cold start January, We're only two days in though, uh, of course. So, that is provisional up to the 2nd of January. Means of a GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We'll look bushy again today. Uh, so the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for bushy. We're going to be colder than average for the next week to 10 days. Definitely dates along the bottom of the chart. So below average temperatures for the next week to 10 days. Um, and then possibly starting to get a little bit uh, less cold or milder as we run into the more extended range. Although, having said that, we do have a lot of scatter. So we have these ensemble members down here. 
uh, those are quite um, cold ensemble members. Um, we've got the murder ensemble members up here. So, so there's a lot of scatter in there. But I think we are perhaps seeing signs of a little bit of a warming trend as we move into the middle part of January. We might be seeing the temperature just begin to lift up a little bit into the middle part of uh, January. Precipitation-wise, uh, there is going to be precipitation around. So uh, the next week, 10 days, what precipitation we have is likely to be uh, wintry at times uh, because it's going to be quite cold, cold and average. So continuing risks of uh, wintry weather. And then into the right stay range as the temperature begins to uh, lift up, perhaps it goes a little bit more generally unsettled with some rather bigger uh, precipitation spikes um, coming through. So potentially getting a little bit milder and also a little bit wetter into the middle part of January. Temperature anomalies uh, from the 3rd to the 11th of January are going to be colder than average in most of northern and western Europe. A colder than average temperature anomaly uh, on the way for the weekend. Uh, once again, mild and average in the east and the southeast of Europe. Precipitation anomalies from the 3rd to the 11th of January are going to be drier than average in most of uh, the UK and Ivan. Uh, let's move from that from EarthNorthSchool.net show uh, shows that winds are going to be in from the east. So we're going to have easterly winds and they will bring in uh, continuing cold temperatures from the east. Albeit it is not a beast from the east, but uh, these easters continue to drag in quite cold air from uh, the east. This is how the uh, latest UK Met Office model run is looking. So uh, this is for uh, a Wednesday with high pressure sitting over slight to the west of the country and bringing in winds from an easterly direction. High pressure pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic and turns winds into the north through Thursday and Friday. So cold air coming down from the north with a risk of wintry weather in places. And then the ridge builds back in as we go through in Saturday bringing quite a bit of dry, uh, quite a bit of drier weather. Will still be cold though uh, with winds in from an easterly, uh, from a northerly source. The uh, GFS 6Z uh, looks like that. Again, Wednesday looks cold with winds in from an east to northeast direction. That high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic and turns winds into the north as we go through Thursday and Friday. So a cold push coming in from the north with risk of some snow in northern and eastern parts. Of the country. And another low pressure dive southwards through the country through um, Saturday and Sunday through next weekend, or this coming weekend, and brings a risk of rain, sleet, and some snow uh, with it. That low pressure then uh, slips away to the south and the east winds go back into the north again as we get through to the early part of next week with low pressure again to our east, high pressure to west and winds coming in from the north. Up to day 10, which is Wednesday the 13th of January, we're still cold and northerly with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west and uh, winds are coming in from the north. They could be bringing more snow in with them as well. Into more extended range, low pressure will sit to our south and east. Winds will be in from the north or northeast direction. There will be further uh, sort of rain, sleet and snow potentially at times. At the very end of GFS 6, then it starts to get milder as winds turn into west. That might only be temporary, but it does get a little bit milder by the 17th of January with more of a westerly uh, wind. The GM uh, looking like this again, high pressure to our north and west. Winds are in from an east or northeasterly direction through the middle part of week. Then high pressure pulls out to our west. We turn the wind into the north through the second half next week. Will be uh, cold and there'll be a risk of wintry weather in northern and eastern parts of the country. Um, next weekend, a renewed push from the north. This is Sunday the 10th. We've got another cold front pushing southwards and bringing those northerly winds uh, with them. Uh, and then, or with it, and then as we go through up towards day 10, it starts to get a little bit milder again as winds begin to pull round into uh, the west, so heading into the middle part of January, just starting to get ever so slightly milder uh, from the Atlantic. And then the ECM looks like this, with high pressure over to the west of the country, winds are in from an easterly direction uh, through the middle of the week into the second half of the week, the high pressure pulls out to the west, and the wind turns into the north, so it goes cold and um, quite wintry as we go through the second half of this coming week. Then the high pressure slips back in over the country uh, through next weekend. Notice we don't get that diving low uh, that the uh, GFS has, which maintains the northerly with the ECM. We just build the ridge in over the country, which will be cold under that ridge. It will be frosty, but not returning the wind into the north. And then we move up towards uh, day 10. And again, we have uh, low pressure out to our west. We're bringing the wind from like a west or southwest direction. So beginning to try and get milder by the time we get through to day 10. Although a bit inconclusive, we might turn wind back into the north again there, uh, actually at or just beyond 
data. This is a precipitation type forecast based on that um, ECM run. So have a quick look at that from tometio.com. There will be rain under a bit of a wintry mix, perhaps coming for the south and the southeast. More general sort of wintry showers across northern and eastern parts of the country. And then a weather front pushes southwards through the second half week, brings patchy rain and a little bits of snow with it. Quite a dry outlook though in the week ahead actually. And then as we head up towards day 10 we start to bring more general outbreaks of rain in from off the Atlantic. So it begins to go a little bit milder and also a little bit wetter by the time you get through to day 10 which is the 13th of January. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 uh, which gets us uh, to the 11th of January. We have 12 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid-Atlantic ridge to our north and northwest. Trough low pressure to our east and southeast winds coming in from an east to the direction that does include the control and the operational run. 12 members of the ECM on Summers again with a mid Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland. Trough low pressure over to the south of the country. Winds again coming in from a northerly or east direction that could be quite cold and potentially a bit on the wintry side as well. Uh, we have um, we have uh, 12 members of the ECM on Summers again with, with this mid Atlantic ridge up towards Greenland. Trough low pressure to our south and east. Winds again coming in. From an easterly uh, direction, five with high pressure in mid latitudes, low pressure to our south winds coming in from uh, the east. Another five with a mid Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland, trough of low pressure to our south and east winds again coming in from an east or northeast direction. And another five with high pressure in mid Atlantic going up towards Greenland, low pressure to our east. Um, so that could be a little bit cold, a little bit inconclusive, but that could be quite cold uh, potentially as well. In the two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 16th of January. You have 32 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure around Greenland, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Winds are likely being in from the west with that, so milder and wetter. And 19 with high pressure to the north of the country and up towards Greenland. Winds could be coming in from the east. Could be quite cold uh, with that cold and dry with those 19. CFSV2 uh, looks like this. These are 500 mil of our heights bring down to week periods. The first week period takes from the 3rd to the 9th of January. The coming week will have high pressure sitting within the normal latitudes. Low pressure will be to south. Winds will be in from an easterly direction, so it could be quite cold. And wintry will be quite cold and wintry in the weekend. Um, week 2 will be the 10th through to the 16th of January uh, with, again, a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland. Trough low pressure to our east. Winds are likely coming in from the north, so that's going to be drier but will be cold as well. Uh, week 3 is going to look like this. It's the 17th to 23rd of January with high pressure to our south and also to our northwest. Um, winds coming in from an easterly uh, type direction with that as well. So that's going to be trying to get a little bit more, probably still quite cold. I and mean, then by the time you get through to week four, which is the 24th to the 30th of January, high pressure will be to our south and also to our west and northwest. Trough low pressure in Scandinavia, winds going uh, rather northwest to southeast. So it looks like CFS wants to try and maintain some sort of northerly influence actually right way through to the uh, very end. Uh, which, of course, takes us today to the 30th of January. Uh, right, if you've enjoyed this video, please can you click like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't get to your friends about Gaz Weatherleads. And um, let us know in the comments uh, what you think. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. So, as I say, no live stream uh, coming up tonight. Uh, I'm going to have the evening off, I think. And then tomorrow, um, I think I'll try and get the January forecast done for you tomorrow. And we'll uh, do a 10 to 14 day as well. Hopefully, the next live stream will be with you uh, on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Uh, for this video, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.